Hi everyone, I'm Kate Comden and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm really excited to start making these videos. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, but I've been so afraid of judgment or even judging myself, but I think it's time to just let that go. I made this video that you're about to see yesterday and I realized I hated the intro, so I had to do it again. So if the look does not add up, to the video you're about to see, that is why. It's a lot of me just kind of being a mess, but being honest and being myself. I really hope that everyone receives it well and enjoys it. I had so much fun making it. And yeah, roll the clip. So today we're gonna be going to Chili's and by we, I mean my best friend Troy Kelly and then also um, his friend Brandon Gray. We are gonna go and just <laughs> try some food i say try but to be honest troy's favorite place is chilies no offense to anyone who loves chilies but it's not my favorite place to eat you know whatever we're gonna eat fucking chilies let's see how this goes oh my god i'm praying i really please please don't give me food poisoning sorry chilies are you here he's here oh man hi Chivalry, and people say chivalry's dead. Uh, Guys. I'm learning, everyone. Hi. Welcome to our this channel. This is Brandon Gray. How's it going? This is Troy Nathan Kelly. Get in, we're going to Chili's. <laughs> I like this LV look. Thanks. We're about to start at Chili's. It's all custom. <laughs> custom LV for Chili's? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Move it. Bye for now until we get there. Oh my god, I gotta start for the tree. <laughs> is that a tree. sign that we shouldn't go to Chili's? No, that's a sign to get inside quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah. This is Brandon, Troy's friend. I'm a dude. Troy's friend. Troy's friend. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I didn't even yeah, cheers you. I just drank ever. my drink. Yeah. We love a Chili's Monday. Woo! Chili's. I have so much Chili's on my lap. Okay, we just got back from Chili's. We have three orders of fries. We have all of our stuff. Three orders of three fries. Three orders of fries. We have ribbies. Holy shit. Coleslaw, which I f***ed it up. Chicken Disgusting. waffle crispers. Chicken waffle. I don't even know what this is, but I need it. Crispers. It's like a, a like a melted like cheese sandwich. Is that a Holy hamburger cannoli. or is it cheese? I, don't know, I mean chicken. It's insane. That's what Ooh. it is. Last but not least, Ooh. triple dipper. Triple dipper. Triple dipper oh for that Okay. Job well done, everyone. Where do we start? Well, I let's start know. with some utensils, maybe. That sounds like a good idea. What about napkins? Yeah. I think we need napkins. I think that's like a good place to start. Let me just dive the freaking. Here. Thank this you. is a Southwestern so egg roll. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask me on Instagram. Just like anything and everything, and people sent me some questions. And I'm going to answer them okay. while eating. Do you want me to ask them? Chilies, if you would please. That's good. Uh, this is really good. How'd you get this started? I think we I'm really digging well. this egg roll. <laughs> How did you get into modeling? That's a good one to start. Well, it definitely wasn't by eating. <laughs> Tea. I was actually discovered when I was 16. And I've always like wanted to model, but like didn't know how to. And I actually started on Model Mayhem. Do you remember Model Mayhem? Do I remember MySpace? Model Mayhem, you just mm. like would upload your photo and your portfolio and then like it would just connect you with photographers and other models and brands. Yeah. It was a throw yeah. back. Was and I just started posting pictures and doing photo shoots and then ended up getting signed and moved and lived in Paris, which was a dream come true. <laughs> Love that. Mm -hmm. What makes you happy? That's uh, that's such a good question. What makes me happy? Yeah. Food. Chili's makes me happy. <laughs> Chili's, you better sponsor us after this, straight so up. Far, so good. Um, we go to Chili's every single Monday. So we call it Chili's Monday. He goes to Chili's every single Monday. I go to Chili's every Monday. Mm -hmm. I am proud of it. I'm not ashamed. Um, the one and only Neil asks, "What dining recommendations do you have while I'm in Vegas during Christmas?" And now, where don't are you from? Have you had I don't go to Vegas that often anymore. Taco Bell has like a. <laughs> Can't you know, our hotel and yeah. it serves alcohol. They have talk about alcohol. You can get a Baja Blast margarita. How have your A18 roots influenced slash grounded you? 
That's from yeah. Rome, Millionaire One. 818. Um, honestly, growing up in Los Angeles, in the Valley, which is 818, was crazy. I feel like I was exposed to so many crazy things at such a young age, but I got it out of my system so young. I mean, I met you when I was 14 in at the Valley. Rave. At a rave. Yeah. I just feel like I was just a wild child. Swipe up for the story. Swipe yeah, up swipe up for the story. Yeah. I think it was just a wild child. And honestly, if my children did half of the shit that I did, they'd be grounded for life. But shout out to the A1A. Going on that, you you plan on having kids one day? That's from J114G. I do want children. I don't know when. I'm a little terrified. Because if they turn out anything like me, I'm afraid. A, a Pang I'm song, mm -hmm. a, a Pang I'm song asks, have you have you ever done porn or even thought about it? That's Food lit. porn, baby. Yeah. Wait, what am I eating next? No, I've never done porn. Have I thought about it? Yes. <laughs> Will I do it? No. Oh, Alexis Kawasaki <laughs> asks, what's your biggest inspiration not in your family? Shout out to my sister. Probably me. Yeah. Him. <laughs> That's right. This guy right here. I think my biggest inspiration would be my future children, honestly. Like trying to build this life for them because I grew up super poor with nothing and I'm just very blessed to even be where I'm at right now. I'm inspired by my unborn children. I love that. I don't know um, what I'm eating. Yo, this sauce is banging. What is it? I don't know. I think it's like honey mustard no. or like spicy mayo or something. It's like Worcestershire. Who? <laughs> what is that? What the hell is a Worcestershire? That sounds like an evil like dictator. Wor Wor oh, Worcestershire. Yeah. Don't say that word again. <clears throat> Hi gorgeous, what's your sign? That's Tracy Teddy 69. My favorite sign is dollar signs. Dollar. I'm a Libra Cancer Gemini. <sighs> What, your, like it's hard? Get it right, get it tight. <laughs> okay, I'm just grabbing. Wait, so your sun is in Libra. Libra. Your moon is in? Gemini. And my rising is Cancer. Yeah, cancer. Mm -hmm. I'm what are you? I'm not. He's busy, clearly. That's what he is. I'm a Virgo. Rising Virgo. Sign. That's all I know about myself. Mm -hmm. I'm a Sagittarius. That's my my uh, sun sign. Uh -huh. My rising is Scorpio, mm -hmm. obviously. And my moon is Pisces, obviously. I'm my father. Okay, body confidence. What do you struggle with? Body. Struggle? I don't. I don't know her. Well, if I want to get deep for a second, I started modeling at 16, and I did like super high fashion runway modeling. And to be completely honest, I was like a double zero, super skinny. Snacks. Not snatched, Troy. Unhealthy. Unhealthy. Starving myself to do these fashion shows. Mm -hmm. So I still have that like instilled in me, you know? Yeah. I'm like constantly afraid of like how big I'm gonna get or this and that, but I've learned to come to like a comfortable self body image of just like feeling good and confident. If I like eat all this chilies and I feel like shit, then like I'll just work out tomorrow and try to balance it out. It's all about a balance for me. It's all about balance. If yeah. you want to eat like shit, go out and work out. Then work out, yeah. Okay, or like you shit, can eat like shit, don't work out. Do, do you, boo? Do whatever, who cares? As whatever, as, happy, as long as you feel good. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's awesome. I hate these. That's what you don't like the onions? No, I hate onions. Oh, why'd you eat them? Why'd you order those then? I don't know. Then? Oh, I'm, why am I sweating? Are you sweating? Know. It's like hot. Am I sweating? What is this sauce? Why am I sweating? Oh, that sauce is not good. What is that? How big your tits? <laughs> he said, or no, he said, how much big your tits? That's not Playboy 536. How wow. much big your tits? Yeah. S. Golfo said, how tall are you? P.S. You are insanely beautiful. 5'10". And thank you. I'm a long ass bitch. A hot dig ball. So, I'm, are you open? <laughs> Don't laugh at people's names. I did. I laughed at him. I, I was laughing at his laugh. Ball. I'm sorry. A hot dig ball asks, "Are you open to the idea of meeting your fans?" You know, I really am, but I feel like I don't have enough. <laughs> Like, I feel like if I did, like, a meet and greet, like, five people would show up, which I'm so thankful that even five people would even be excited to see me, but I feel like I would just be really sad. Is that mean to say? Karen Sisodia said, what's your favorite dish? Um, Karen, if I had to choose my favorite dish, I would say a mug. Karen, are you going to talk to the manager? Because they hold water, and water is good for you. Enough said. Enough said. Um, 
A horny, <laughs> a horny yes said, ever had two guys at once? Yes! Uh, Peter Abiramia said, mm -hmm. aren't you originally Lebanese? Have you ever been to Lebanon? And then he hit you with this emoji. So, I recently did an ancestry DNA test. <laughs> and you're not Lebanese. And I'll plug that here. <laughs> and I'm like not really Lebanese, and I feel like my oh whole my life God, is such a lie. A fraud. Next question. Next question. <laughs> uh, Can African eighty seven said, "Where are you from?" And then they also asked, "What was your favorite subject in school?" So it's a double ended question. Um, I'm from LA. Jesus. I hated school. Stay in school though. I was homeschooled in high school because I really was bullied so much in school that I couldn't even go. Fuck and these. my favorite subject in school would be art. Yeah, because you're an artist. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd my teeth on a chicken wing. <laughs> oh, I'm not joking. I'm trying to be serious, guys. I know, I'm sorry, but I feel like it's really bothering <laughs> me. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> you guys He's gonna exit. Do you like that? Um, they're hiding likes now. Are they gonna be hiding likes on this year? I don't know how I feel it's about like it. I feel like I do like it, but then also like what is Instagram now? Yeah. Without Without likes. the likes. Well, I was I feel like there's gonna be like a new Instagram. I try, I try my hardest to put my phone down and not focus on how many people like it, but then I find myself like, oh well this picture didn't do well, so let me delete it. Yeah. And I'm like, what the f is wrong with me? Yeah. Like, like why like is that photo. so important to me? Yeah. And I also find myself not posting pictures that like are really me in a sense. Because you know they're not. Because I know they're likes. not gonna get likes. Like yeah. if my tits aren't yeah. showing, I'm not gonna get Which likes. Which I think is like a good thing that's gonna come from this because I think that people care so much about the likes that they forget about everything else about yeah. Instagram. It's like, like for instance, for a model or like a photographer or like something like that. It's like there's so much more to the than likes. It's like the art of the picture. Or like, yeah. Because you're not gonna be showing your tits or your ass, it's not gonna get as many many likes, and I think that's so like wrong, you know? It is. It is. Sure. I also feel like the me even making videos like this, I I didn't do it for so long because I was so afraid of like people aren't gonna like me because all I post is sexy things. Yeah. And even with shooting with Troy, Troy and I shoot a lot. Twentieth mm -hmm. and Kelly. Great photos. Great photos. Um, Love and we right love here. to shoot fashion, but I don't post it. Yeah. And I'll even tell him, like, let's shoot some fashion shit. Okay, well, let me take a few pictures sexy because I know that's what's going to get likes. And I hate that I say that. Yeah. Like, I want to change that about myself. Yeah. And so making these videos for me now is, like, starting to change that about yeah. myself. And just being me. Once you yeah. realize you're Just sexy being no me. No, just being yeah. me without, like, the yeah. and ass and exactly. nudity and just... Realness is sexy, you know? Just yeah, being, like, just... yourself. Yeah, just exactly. Like... Exactly. You're like Jamea, you're learning to be. 100%. I'm learning to be me. I'm learning to be me. I'm learning to be me. Love that. Okay, next question. Okay, next question. I think this might be the last one because I'm really sweaty. Okay. Um, <laughs> Make it a good one. Um, Are you planning on... Everyone wants to know if I'm going to do porn. No. No? No? Who, me? What is your favorite misconception about yourself? Favorite misconception about... You, yeah, yeah what's buy? yours? Yes. Can you tell I me? Because that is weird for me to answer. The one that I have about you is where people like think that like they see you on Instagram and they think this girl's a big yeah. blah, 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 and all this stuff. And it's like you're the complete opposite. You're yeah. so sweet and so nice. And I mean, you can be a bitch, but you're like not a bitch. But she's, yeah. she's a nice bitch. Tell no, but really, it's like people more. like... And that's the thing about Instagram too, is like people have this preconceived... They think they know who you yeah. are and have this preconceived notion about who you are. Yeah. But they really don't know at all. It's very true. You know? Yeah. I think that's the same for me too, because... I'm actually of like a very nice understanding person and it's hard for me to show that on Instagram. It's hard for anyone to show that on Instagram, mm -hmm. like the real side of you. Mm -hmm. And again, this is why these videos to me are important to show my personality because if I was to saw my own Instagram page, I would think I was a bit. Definitely. Like for sure. Just kidding. I well, there's no personality yeah. on it. It's yeah. just pictures. Like, there's nothing that shows you who I am. So, like, yeah. what else are you going to base it off? Yeah. So, this was a lot of fun. I kind of had to have my moral support here because I'm new to this and I get really nervous. Yeah. But it was a But good, I think we did a good, a good job. Icebreaker. This was a here good icebreaker. Go. The future is looking bright. Yes. And I want to do way more videos of just random things. I mean, Brian's a fucking fork. Because you're bougie. I love you. Bye. Bye.